Lanes and clears it long. Looking for Palmer. Palmer wins the header well. Into Paul Mullin. Shifts it out of his feet. Great save. Mike McClendon. Palmer again. And it's in for Wrexham. Listen to that noise. What a way to mark your debut, Ollie Palmer. Welcome to Wrexham. The number on that left hand side and uses him well tries to flick it through to Callum McFasden he's held his line really well and his chance to get across into the box here his ball goes in looking for Palmer Palmer can get his head to it and it's in for Wrexham Ollie Palmer with his second goal for the club and he's clearly enjoyed that what a great ball by Callum McFasden floated into the box and Ollie Palmer gets Wrexham 1-0 up here who can take the free kick, the ball goes into the box, Hayden the target man, Hayden beaten to the ball there by Grimes, Reese Hall Johnson into Luke Young, out to Lee McLendon, he's made a difference since coming on, puts the ball into the box, it's a great ball, and he's in the back post and what a save, goes across goal and it's Holly Palmer, he's got it in that time and Wrexham take the lead, what a moment for Wrexham, it's Wrexham 1, Chesterfield 0. You cannot give Ollie Palmer a second opportunity. Put the corner in. Wrexham have caused problems so far when that ball's gone in the box. And can they double their advantage here at the Tennis Stadium? Ball's gone in. And it's off the line. And it's in. The goal's been given and Wrexham are in the lead again. It's 2-0. It felt like the offside flag might go up. Chesterfield complaining. I'm not over the top. Nearly goes into the path of Palmer. And Palmer carries on. Plays it in. Smart ball to McFancy. Palmer! <laughs> 3 0 Wrexham. They seem to have put the game right past all the shot. McFadden carried on a run. He had plenty of options in the box. Will now be swung in for Wrexham. The ball goes into the box. Headed down. And it's Ollie Palmer for Wrexham. And it's Wrexham that take the lead. He scored against him in the trophy and he's done it again. From there, if you get time and space on the ball, you can certainly have this, this Wrexham back line. Jones, who found a little bit of space here. Paul Johnson. Lighted to come inside and looks for Mullin and found him. And it's palmed out. And it's a second. It's Ollie Palmer for Wrexham. Well, Mullins sent through on the left-hand side again. He's isolated and by himself. Mullins still there. Put across the box. Only as far as Jones. Can he get the shot away? And it's gone in. And Wrexham do have a goal back. Ollie Palmer looking to urge them up. It's been hurried there. Good play by McFastine down the left. Dan Jarvis running into the penalty area. Plays it in to Ollie Palmer. Gets a shot away and it's in. It's fouls. 4 5. Davis does get it to his feet this time and he instantly sends that ball to Ollie Palmer. Ollie Palmer manages to beat the Barnet defender. He's got a shot on goal. Some won't panic that they're behind. There's been some brilliant recoveries from them in recent weeks. Great distance on that, and it's already an equaliser. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Ollie Palmer with the header. It's another goal from a throw in from Toza. The 11th time that's happened. Oh, what a smart pass that is from Luke Young to Hall Johnson. Tries to pick his man, he finds it in Palmer! Another sucker punch for Old Cam Rex and fine, that's sick. It's Palmer! There it is! Super six for Wrexham, and Oli Palmer gets in on Young. Dangerous ball in again. 
South End just try and hoof the ball out with the danger zone, not very well. Looks to be a push in the back by Bridge on Hall Johnson, but the referee doesn't signal anything, and Wrexham get back underway anyway. Davis ball in again. for Wrexham to get the ball into those wide areas to provide support. Ball comes in again. Palmer has broken the deadlock at the race course. How many times have we seen it this season? Ben Sosa launches that ball in for a throw in. Needs Palmer's head. He's completely unmarked. Hinchcliffe, no chance. Back of the net. Wrexham strike first at the top of the table. Ball comes in. Yeah! It's back to the ball. It's Ali Palmer again. Wrexham make it three at the start of the second half. Lee driving one across goal and it ends up in the back of the net. Palmer snatched it on the goal line. And at last he's off the mark for the season. Wrexham heading for victory now. 3-1 they lead at the Lathwick Community Stadium with 10 minutes left. And the pressure from Wrexham is really causing issues for Gateshead. It's a great tackle from the skipper Young and Jordan Davis sending the ball to Oli Palmer. He's onside, he's timed his run well on Louis Storey. Going to cut it onto his right foot. Takes the chance, deflecting it in. Two deflection, two goals. A second of the season for Ali Palmer as well. Morton just trying to guide that ball towards Young. Dagging him clear, but brilliant work by Jordan Davis. Wins the ball, it falls to Mendy. Quick feet from Mendy. Just get the ball on his left foot. Edge the shoot from the race course a couple of times, but he actually chooses Jordan Davis in the end, who provided support. Ball comes into the far post. Ali Palmer! Breaks the deadlock for Wrexham. What delivery off the right hand side. And Wrexham deliver the first goal at the race course tonight. Goal number five for Ali Palmer this season. He's on quite the run in the recent few games. The third successive games that Palmer has scored in. Zygaf just trying to beat Toza with the long ball. Hasn't really worked out for them this evening. Mendy. Oh, it's a quick piece of play from Wrexham. Ollie Palmer again. Almost playing as an extra midfield player. It's brilliant work from Wrexham's number nine. James Jones overlaps for Ford. Jones cuts it back towards Palmer. Palmer snapshot, Palmer! Two goals for Mullin, two goals for Ali Palmer. Two deadly strikers have really walked all over Dagenham throughout these 75.